So you have an Amazon Wi-Fi smart plug and you want to get it set up with your smart things so you can control everything together. I'm going to show you how to get that set up coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, check out the video description for the three steps to building the ultimate smart home. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to get this Amazon Wi-Fi smart plug working with our smart things. Your goal should be to get all of your devices into smart things so they can all work together in routines and automations. So the funny thing is, is when you do the Amazon integration with SmartThings, everything from SmartThings goes into Amazon, but nothing from Amazon goes over to SmartThings. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get this set up with our Alexa app first, then we're going to create a virtual device in SmartThings, and then create a routine in the Alexa app to make this work in SmartThings. Okay, so now we are gonna set up the Amazon Wi-Fi smart plug. And what we need to do is go into the Amazon app and we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna click add a device at the top. And we're gonna find the device that we have, which is a plug, of course. So we're gonna choose plug and just use your brand, which is Amazon. Click on the next button. And now we're going to have to scan the barcode, which is on the back of the device. So we're gonna click scan barcode and we just need to hold it there. And it's gonna scan that barcode. And now we need to plug it into the outlet. So we plug it in so it has power. When you plug it in, the blue LED light blinks on the front and plug connected. So now all we need to do is click the next button and let's skip the group thing. And now the first plug is set up and ready to use. To control it, just say Amazon turn on first plug. So just hit done there. And now if we go into our plugs, you can see that our first plug shows up here and now we can turn it on and off. So in the app, if I just tap on it, it just turned on and the blue light turns on and I'll turn it off and it turns off, on, off. Great. So we have our plug set up in the Amazon Alexa app, but now what we need to do is get it working with smart things. The only reason I got this plug is because it was $5. So basically, if you're going to be building a real smart home, try to avoid Amazon Alexa stuff because it's not going to integrate with smart things yet. Hopefully they'll eventually allow Amazon devices to flow into say smart things, but currently that is not available and this is going to be the only way we can do it. So now we need to set up our virtual device and we need a special device handler to get that done. So I'm on my computer here and you can do this on a tablet or your phone or anything, but you need to go to account.smartthings.com slash login and log in with your account. All right, once logged in, we're gonna to have to go over to my device handlers and we're gonna to have to add a new device handler. The device handler that we're going to be using can be found here and I'll leave a link to both of these in the video description. What we need to do is go down to here where it says device types and the one that we want to add is the simulated Alexa switch. We're going to tap on that there and we just need to tap on the groovy file here and now we need to just copy all of this code. Just start at the top and go all the way down. Make sure you don't get any of this stuff at the bottom. Just make sure you get the end and hit control C or you can right click and copy. And then we need to come over to our my device handler section here and click 
create new device handler. Then we just need to do from code and we just need to paste in the code that we just copied. And we just need to click create. And now we have created our smart device, the simulated Alexa switch. And we just need to click save there and click publish and click for me. All right, now that we have our simulated Alexa switch created, we need to create a new device. We just need to go up to the My Device section and then go over to the top right hand corner and click New Device. And just give your device a name. So I'm just going to call it Alexa VD for virtual device. And we're going to put the label as the same and the network ID is the same as well. And then this is the most important part here, choosing the type. So anything that you add custom is going to be at the very bottom. And here it is right here. So that's what you want to choose, the simulated Alexa switch. And just choose your hub locations and then click create at the bottom. And now you can see that our device is created and this is all of the details of it. And now when we go into our SmartThings app, this device will be there. So now what we need to do is go over and create some routines in our Alexa app. Okay, so now we have everything set up. All we need to do is create our Alexa routines and then test it. So now we need to go into our Alexa app and click on the three little bars at the upper left-hand corner and go to routines. Now once in here, we're gonna create two routines, one to turn on the plug and one to turn it off. So we're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign and we're gonna enter a routine name and let's just say smart plug on. And then when this happens, go to smart home and you can see our Alexa virtual device is at the top. Just tap on that. And basically we're gonna say when it opens, it's going to be on. So we're gonna click next and we're gonna add an action at the bottom. And that's going to be our actual switch. So we'll go to smart home, all devices, and then we're gonna find our first, first plug. Here it is. So we get first plug and power is on. So we're gonna click on next, and all we have to do is hit save. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing for off. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new routine. In this case, it's gonna be when the virtual device is closed. And the action is going to be smart home, and it's gonna be all devices, and we're gonna find our first plug. Here it is. And this is going to be turning it off. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. So now we have everything set up and we just have to hit save. All right. And now all we need to do is test it. So we're going to go down to the smart plug and see if we can get this to work. Okay. So now we can test it out and we, all we need to do is go into our smart things and we see the Alexa VD at the top which is the virtual device that we created. And what I've done here is we got our smart plug here and I'm just gonna plug in my Echo third generation dot into this. And I'm just gonna set it on top because it kind of makes a shelf. So we're gonna see if this works. So basically what's gonna happen is when we turn on this virtual device, it's going to turn on the plug right from SmartThings. So if we tap this to be on, that just did click on, and you can see our echo dot is starting up. If we tap it to be off, it turns off. So basically now we can control this directly through SmartThings, and what I would do is I would just keep the smart plug named first plug, and then name the virtual device that we created in smart things to be whatever you're going to be controlling. So say if this was a lamp, you could call this, you know, bedroom lamp, 
And then the bedroom lamp in your smart things is going to go over to Alexa and you'll still be able to control the bedroom lamp with Alexa, but it's going to be using smart things to do that rather than directly through Alexa, because if you do control this through Alexa, it will be unsynced from your smart things. So you only want to control it from one location and smart things is where you want everything to be so you can control everything and everything can work together. So that is basically all you need to do. It is a little bit tricky, um, but once you get that virtual device installed, everything is pretty much easy from that point on. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.